Let's talk about setting up the economizer minimum position. As you know, this is a variable speed machine and you can't have one position to satisfy the machine at all times. So similar to two speed machines and other things like that, you have to set multiple points to be able to get the ventilation to occur all the time properly. System view in general, regardless of variable speed, allows you to set in an actual curve for various operating positions. And this is what we'll walk you through. So settings, unit config, and then economizer, and then minimum position. So here's the, the different minimum positions. So it's important to note by default, the machine may be shipped to provide more outside air than what you really need. So it is highly recommended that you go in and set these. Otherwise you may be bringing in more outside air than you need and you really should be done properly with an air balancer to know that you're actually getting the right amount of air. So in this case, you can see it says minimum position at max fan 18%. And as you know, what's max fan? Well, we talked about that in another video, which is the fan setup. In general, if you have a machine that hasn't been really touched, the first thing you wanna do is make sure that your max fan speed is set how you want it for that unit. So if it's default 100% and you're still good with that, then leave it at that. And so the first thing you wanna do is, well, if I am running 100% fan, what do I want my damper to be? So in an ideal situation, you would have an airflow monitor to measure the actual amount of outside air that's getting put in the space. And in that case, go to use test mode and you would drive your fan to 100%. And then you would move the damper to whatever position you need to get the outside air you want. And then you would put that number in here. And then once you have that position squared away, then you would change in test mode, change your fan speed to something less. And at minimum, you need to do one more speed and one more damper position besides the maximum fan with this min posit max. So you have to have two points for a calibration to be a line, would be a linear line, then the algorithm would scale the fan and the damper. As the fan's moving up, the damper would scale based on that linear line. If you want to customize it and really get it to drive home, then you can add additional points. So speed two, damp two, right? Speed three, damp three. And so this gives you a total of three customizable speeds or points of the curve plus the maximum one. So that's a four point total curve equation that we will save and control the fan to. For our purposes, let's just go through and say, you know, minimum position at max is 18%. Let's say that that worked out good. Our maximum is 100, and we got to put in one more point for this site. So we're going to say at speed one, and if you wanted to do the math, you could go through and say, you know, let's say my lowest point fan speed is 30% ever. And so 30% fan speed, and then my damper, what would that be at this point? Well, we know that 18% at 100%, so if we drop to 30, we're going to have to crank that damper up you would use test mode with an air balancer to really find this out, but let's just go through and say it's something around 60%. For my purposes, I'm making up numbers, but you guys would really be moving the damper via test mode. So you're gonna dial in the fan speed and then you're gonna play with the damper to get you to where you have enough outside air. And then you're gonna fill in those points once you have it. If you have a scrap piece of paper or something like that, go through the test mode, run the points that you want, record those points, write them down, and then come back to this menu and dial them in. Again, you have to do at least two points. So it's the min at max fan point and speed one and, and damp one. You have to set those three and that's gonna give you a nice linear line. As the fan's moving, the damper is gonna go accordingly. That is just like your electromechanical, you know, low speed versus high speed scenario. And that's minimal what you have to do.